See you later, Jay. See you later, big man. Give me that absolute joy. Safe journey. Thank you very much. Adam. Don't See you later, mate. Job. I know. I'm sure you have to go. Um, have a good time in Perth. Would you rather spend your birthday with us? Yeah. So then don't go. Okay. Mm. Love you, mate. Love you too. I do actually love you. Love you all. Oh, thanks. See you later, Callum. So we are in the airport right now, Melbourne Airport, waiting for our flight to Perth. Um, now you remember, lover boy Joe, he left us about three hours ago. He's still sat on his plane at Terminal 3 of this very airport. He hasn't left, which means he's going to miss his connection to Manchester, which means who knows when he's going to get home. He should have just stayed with us, the flipping idiot. It's his own fault. That's what happens when you desert your family. I think, <laughs> I think God told him, mate, you should have stayed in Melbourne and gave him a sign. If I was him, I'd get off that plane now and get right in. But I'm not in it. And he's stuck on that plane somewhere. He must be so weird. Imagine falling asleep, waking up three hours later thinking, oh, we're in the air. Yes, and your plane, your plane hasn't even left. <laughs> Wound out. Anyway, enough taking the piss out of Joel. We're going to get to Perth soon. Four, three, four nights there. Um, United are playing Villa. Should be good, isn't it? It's got a lot to live up to because you've been bigging up the Perth fans. Telling me the out. Perth fans are amazing. Yeah. The city of Perth was very good. Yeah. Close is very early, and that's not what we want. So we've arrived in Perth. Our taxi just got here as well. It's warmer than Melbourne, but it's raining. Great. Reminds me of Manchester. Had to go through security again. Yeah. Had to go all the way up there, run to the gate we left from. I ran to the woman, she goes, Oh, you're looking to board the flight? I was like, huh? <laughs> The plane was about to go again and shit myself. And then the next woman at the next desk had it. Oh, she was wait, as soon as she heard me say laptop, she waved it at me. Yes, people, what's happening? Look at that. Bad boy right behind me, the Optus Stadium. Now, when we arrived here, it was absolutely pissing down with rain. The rain has gone away. The sun has come out and got his hat on. Now it's not 40 odd degrees at home, record breaking temperatures or anything like that, but it's a little bit warmer, about 15 degrees. Nice little sun in my face. I need my sunglasses on. So it's amazing to be here. One thing though, I'm absolutely shattered. I don't think, I don't know if it was the run back through the airport to get my laptop and get to the gate and all that stuff, but I'm absolutely shattered. We've got an event tonight. Brian Robson's gonna be there. The Perth Manchester United Supporters Club are gonna be there. I can't wait for that. But I know, I know, you Aussies have had me twisted up. You Aussies have had me drinking all sorts. So I need to go and get some rest before we get back into action tonight. We'll see you in a bit. My favourite is because it was the first trophy. Can anybody shout out what you think? Glory, My glory, first man, trophy know. that I won and we did a song. Glory, glory, man, you know. There you go. Glory, 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 glory man, you know. And that got to number one. Yes, people, what's going on? So we are up. Look, I got my sunglasses on today. I mean, it's still cold and that, but you know, the sun's out, which is good. But we're walking down to the Optus now to get our accreditation. The man have been accredited. Is that a word? Accre yeah, it should be. Accredited. What we do? Yeah. Get accredited. We've been accredited yeah. for once. See how long that lasts. So we're going to go to the press conference today. Uh, we're going to speak to Eric Ten Hag. Um, we're just waiting up what questions we're going to ask him. I was thinking, well, Eric, is Anthony Martial the greatest striker you've ever seen? 
And then, but, but we know the answer to that, don't we? I know you know the answer to that. Yeah, he's just going to say, yes, mate, what next? I was asking about being bald. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. As a fellow balder, <laughs> do you feel like you've had to fight a little bit harder than everyone else to get to where you are in life? <laughs> yeah, because uh, that's what's been holding Jay back all his life. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go down there, get accredited, because that's a new word. Then we're going to go to the press conference. Then we might have some lunch that isn't McDonald's. A bold, bold statement now, I mean, That's a bold, bold that statement one. right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bold, bold statement. So we're going to do that. Matches. Then we're going to go uh, to a fan event, which has got Gold King Cole there, which should be good. I love him. Um, and then, yeah. So it's going to be a good day. Tomorrow's the match. Keep it locked. Oh, I'd rather shag a bucket with a Billy's hole in it a Billy's city Kangaroo bolognese. What are you having, Jay? <laughs> That's Jada. Jay, how's the me? That's Jada. Kangaroo bolognese. <laughs> I think Jay's ordering his kangaroo bolognese. Uh, I have my doubts about how authentic this Italian restaurant is. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not very Italian with a kangaroo uh, bolognese. I think, to be honest. I've been sold with butter. I think Jay wants a bit of kangaroo. He got kicked out of the club. Me? For singing United songs. I'll sing United nah, songs turn blue in the face, brother. He got a yellow card. We're allowed to go back. He, he might be able to come Ronaldo. back tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> There's like a 12 hour rest hey. point, he might come back tomorrow. Save the Ronaldo chance, we don't know where he's going to end up. <laughs> <laughs> So it's 2 0 here at half time in the Optus Stadium. The rain has just cooled down. We'll put a little clip on this for you. The rain was absolutely mental during that second half. Sorry, during that first half. Yeah, that, that's, that's going. Um, it's 2 0 to Manchester United. The goal's coming from Jaden Sancho. The first goal was a fantastically worked team goal. Bruno, Marshall, Rashford, Shaw were all involved as they set up Jaden Sancho for the volley. Second goal coming from uh, Marcus Rashford's shot, which was deflected off Matt Cash and ended up in the back of the net during that absolutely torrential downpour. And then it was 2-0 to Manchester United. You've got all the substitutes warming up now, although they've just disappeared from behind me. So I'm expecting there'll be loads of changes for Manchester United at half-time. But yeah, it was absolutely crazy rainfall out there. First half was good for Manchester United. We played some good football despite the state of the pitch. We managed to create some opportunities. Harry Maguire went close with a header as well, which was well saved by the goalkeeper Martinez. Manchester United dominating. We're winning 2-0. The only thing we need to do is get off this pitch without any injuries because it's an absolute mess. Anyway, let's go watch the second half and get warm. <laughs>
Yeah, I think we have we have to build a relationship for everyone, uh, not just with Jaden. I think the connection between us has to be perfect. Yeah, I think I think on reflection, two two is a fair result. I mean, we battered them the first half, second half we just went up for it. They had two took really two good chances at the end. De Gea left the no man's land. It ended up in the back of the net, and you know that's football sometimes. So. Few complaints, really. Second half, Villa were all over us. Um, I'm pretty pissed off, to be honest. That it was too old because I was really excited for us to have 100% record on a tour. But I think it was a fair result. Villa were all over us. But at the end of the day, it's pre-season, isn't it? We got a big season ahead. And based on what I've seen in the pre-season, we're going to be a lot better next season than last. Although. It's pretty hard for us to be worse, but I think we are a good season ahead, man. I'm excited. We've seen some great performances from the young players. Uh, when you look at the likes of uh, Zidane, we got uh, you know young young uh, Gardner. Did he get on today? Did Gardner get on? Yeah, yeah, he, he got did. on for a little bit. Uh, Hannibal, you know, he got got a little bit of a run out, which was good. So it's uh, yeah, nice to see. Obviously, little uh, little Charlie Savage, he's been great as well on the tour. So I don't know whether these players are going to go out on loan. But uh, it'd be great to see them in or around the first team this season. A bit disappointed to not win, but what did you make of the performance? To be honest, Jay, it's not about the game, is it? It's about getting blooded. So, to be honest, I don't even know what, what how the game was, to be honest. <laughs> did you see any of it? Did you see anything? Well, a little bit. Did, did we score? I don't know. <laughs> Have you, this pre-season, have you managed to catch much of it? What did you make of the pre-season? I've seen a few games, yeah, and I like the way we're playing. But... I've seen this all before. Do you know what I mean? Like new managers coming in, everyone trying, everyone playing the game. How long is it going to last? How do you feel about Senag? I know it's early days. Do you think he's the right man to move us forward? I think he's saying the right things. Do you know what I mean? He's what we all want. He's saying the right thing. He's telling, he's telling everyone what he wants. If it carries on, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But like I said before, it's like we've had managers come in. Everyone's like, yeah, jumping on the bandwagon, and then as soon as something goes wrong, they're like, they've stopped playing, haven't they? To be honest, I'm not going to lie, I, uh, I'm a bit pissed. Singing with the boys and that, you know, but um, I thought we did all right, innit? Yeah, I was just a bit disappointing at the end that, um, that they had to score from that last kick of the game. Yeah, well, that was just What did you think of the, the first half? Sancho, Rashford, Bruno, what's making them and Marshall of course? Um, I think they played very well. Um, they're very good, uh, they're learning how to play the ropes together um, I think they have a good mix and hopefully the rest of the season as it goes on that we can go pretty well and get a lot of goals out of them. I always say top four. I sound like an Arsenal fan, but I want top four. We all want top four. Like I'd be happy. Top four. Okay. Uh, Top four and a, and a good European run, get some good games in, in Europe. What about you? What do you yeah, I think we reckon? Mate, what do you, you reckon? Let's put it on, mate. What do I reckon? I reckon, um, I think we can get top four. Well, I think. We got four? No. We're the biggest club in the world, we're the best club in the world, and we're saying, oh, and a good, we should get and top four. And a good four. cup run as well. We, have, we need a good cup run as well. Yeah, we will be great, a bit of silverware. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah. But, it's what it's going to I want to see United again, I want to see us thriving. I want to see a bit of fights, do you know what I mean? Let's have it, innit? Let's have it. Yes, people. So Jay's been looking after you for the last couple of minutes, hasn't he? But we were down at the ground getting absolutely soaked and talking to a man like Diogo, which has probably been added into the blog somewhere. But yeah, man, incredible day. Incredible week. Incredible two, three weeks, actually. But Perth has been absolutely amazing. The Perth Reds are off their heads in a good way. It's been knocked out here. Sorry. I've been absolutely loving it. But yeah, man, pre-season's almost done. He's heading over to Oslo soon, so we'll have some more content from there. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you for keeping it locked. If you've missed any of the content, we've got Mank Quizzes. We've got Diogo Dolo. We've got Zidane Iqbal. We've got vlogs. We've got great socials. We got everything covered and there's still plenty more coming your way because even though this is pre-season, the season starts soon and we'll be doing it all over again. And this time, 21 is 
don't make me say it, but you already know the end to that. Jay? It's been amazing, man. Like you say, Maka, the pair of threads, unreal, off the reds, but in a good way. Everyone on this tour been proper friendly, loving it. This is what makes Manchester United great. We've got a great global fan base. We felt the love on this tour, whether it's been Thailand, whether it's been Melbourne, whether it's been Perth. I can't wait to get over to Oslo because I know what them Norwegian Reds are like. So I'm looking forward to that one. And like Maka says, thanks to you guys for supporting us. And thanks to the people that have been chatting us as well. We've had some good interviews over here. We spoke to Laurie Whitwell, we spoke to Andy Mitten, we spoke to Rob Dawson. Am I missing anyone out? Jamie Jackson, he almost forgot JJ then. How can you forget your fellow Bodie, Eric Tanag? Eric Tanag as well, yeah. Even uh, Eric Tanag chatted to us as well. They've all been chatting to us, not to mention as well, like Matt said, some of the players. So yeah, it's been a fantastic tour. My first one, I've really enjoyed it. These like, guys weren't exaggerating when they said you get looked after by uh, all the fellow Reds, and we have been as well. So appreciate it, appreciate the love. Make sure you're checking out all the other videos we've got as well.